Hello and welcome to the Soul Collect channel. We're going to get buckets, buckets, get myself from the tears of enemies. And today, I don't know what's going on with my thing, my bob. Today, we'll be going over a few things. Um, I've been away for a couple of weeks, so what I want to start doing now is sort of doing like a Bolton news update at the beginning of each ep. Um, talk about where he is, what he's been doing, any weird decks out there, cool decks out there. So. I think there's been quite a bit of a bit of that recently. Well, like I said, I've missed three weeks. So, oh god, oh god. No, I can't. So it's a good t good chance for me to jump in and talk about three decks that have been quote unquote doggy ears, whatever you call them, making making waves in the Bolton uh, stratosphere. Let us start with the, I think, the, the most interesting one. And I say this because it's the most different to what I'm used to playing. I think what people are most different to seeing, and that is Ellie's uh, all in on Vigor's list. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ellie is a uh, Bolton player that, that has done quite well uh, in recent tournaments. Um, I think she won an RTN. Uh, she did well in, in age, top eight in the $1,000 age. I don't know what it's called, but she 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 done things, okay? And this deck she made and she wrote a Wrath Times article about it. Um so if you want to learn more about that, go to their website. I think it's Wrath Wrath Times. I could double check quickly. Wrath Times. Here we go. It's even it's it's saved on my thing here. Um Yeah, so she's written this article here. I took the deck and so if you've seen my decks previously uh i made a similar deck to this except worse in almost every way um slap happy as i spoke about having this sort of potential to to really uh, play defensively but also give you these massive turns um lead with heart goblet of blood run this is one blood run wide this one uh resource you're getting Turns on take flights, be the vanguards, uh, uh, valiant thrusts, um, all that type of things without eating up a card. Okay, you eat up the card the previous turn. I'm going to set up for the following turn. Um, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> I'm going to sneeze again. <coughs> so yeah, it plays it plays to that effect. We have quite a few one costers. Uh, take flights, view the vanguard, uh, battlefield blitz, which is pretty cool. Valiant thrust, lead, lead of heart. Playing lead of heart is cool because you're getting, you're playing it for one, you just get that one back for next turn. That's not always good, but if you have one floating, it's sort of just, sort of this chain reaction that gets going. Um, I have changed a few cards. I don't remember exactly what. I know she had shunts in here instead of soul shields. She doesn't play command conquas. These two, I'm not sure if they're in there. I think Tenacity was. Warmongers, I'm not sure. One of Warmongers might not be the best idea. I added another Valiant Thrust here. Um, I took out the other banneret of Vigor. Uh, I just felt it wasn't doing enough. It, but it does play into the, into the uh, theme of the deck. And so it might be worth keeping in. I think no matter what deck, the, be the best player, worst player, whatever. Whoever it is, they're going to take a deck and they're going to tweak it to to their game style uh, and what what has worked for them in the past. So that's that's sort of what I've done. I have been thinking about getting rid of Battlefield Blitz as well and putting in yellow Valiant, but that one extra point of damage, it's yellow. Um, is that better than than uh, uh, the Soul Neutral Battlefield Blitz? Battlefield Blitz also works well off of a three card block with slap happy and then you keep this card attack zero for five um, so it's not bad in that regard uh, yeah and I think just the power of having a resource available is pretty sweet uh, the, the, the inclusion of prayer Bologna I really like in this list now you're not going to hit most of the time but that's fine because you're not playing a card to play it you're using a Vigor token to play it. 
Um, and if you really want to, and if you're good, unlike me, then you can set it up for the second cycle, set it up for late game, and really go off. When it hits, it hits hard. Uh, so having that flexibility to play it as a plus two without any uh, investment um, is pretty good. Play it as a plus two, draw a card, charge, and then go off with things even better. Um, so yeah, Goblet of Blood Run Wine. This card is pretty cool. It's really, uh, uh, my nose is, one second. Yeah, this card has uh, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised me. It's a blue, which means you can play uh, Take Flight plus Bolting Blade. Um, or take flight into Battlefield Blitz into Giant Thrust or lead with heart. So, you know, being able to afford things as a Molten player, afford cards, makes the, the game a bit more different and interesting in some ways. Um, I think the turn for Agility and Vigor is also very nice. Uh, the Agility saves soul, the Vigor saves resources, or a card, basically. You'll be spending a card with the pitch, regardless. Um, yeah, it is good. It is good. The problem with the new cards, Slap Happy, Goblet, Lead with Heart, they're all two blockers. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what that means. In the grand scheme of things, in terms of, doesn't matter. Uh, remove, remove. Remove. I'm gonna play shunts because I never given. I don't give shunts a real shot. Um, and she says they're really good. One resource, block six, deal of damage maybe. Sounds pretty good to me. And actually, I mean, the the efficiency of certain defensive cards make your offense stronger because it means you save cards in your hand to attack with. So that's the all in on vigor's deck. Um, I glossed over it. You can get more details on uh, wrathtimes.com article if you find it here. Uh, I'll link it in the descript description as well. Uh, one more thing to note is that it doesn't play Soul Bond, it just plays Tunic, and it relies on things like the, the Vigor tokens and Slap Happy uh, and the push power, the offensive power with, with Tunic um, to beat Kano. The, what I've found is the V the Vanguard turns are bad. And when I say bad, you're doing 15 to 19 because you go V the Vanguard into 5 and 2, 9 with Bolting Blade or uh, Valiant Thrust. Something like that. So, so your ceilings are lower, but I think the consistency of pushing out damage might be better. If we go to my results and see how we've done. I was doing very well with this deck. And then I lost like these five I lost in a row or, so, or, or this day I lost three in a row and I just got a little bit disheartened. Uh, what I found was the games into the aggressive decks like KO felt a bit more difficult because it doesn't block as well. I wasn't playing Shunts, so maybe Shunts is the, the secret. Um, I felt better into Kasai, I felt better into Dorinthia and I don't know if this is, if this is meant for that. Um, all the other decks didn't feel too bad. I think this is Azuri. I, I can't remember exactly what happened, but I may have been unlucky to lose this. Because uh, Azuri is generally a favored matchup for Boltons, Boltonators. Uh, and then Droma, I felt fine. Droma's going to go. Um, I did add in the two CNCs as a popper, additional popper, um, as well as being CNCs and I love them. So, yeah, that's it. Next up. I'm going to go through Odie's RTN uh, Bolton deck. Now, Odie came second in the B&H, uh, Battle Hardened, somewhere in the world, um, which is an achievement. So, well done, Odie. He shared his list publicly, so I just want to go through it quickly and just show you guys what's available out there and how they're doing and, and things like that. So, this is quite similar to uh, the Cherio style deck that I made a while ago except he's running take flights, which I think is the right thing to do um, because of the soul and just the go again, guarantee go again. 
uh, two courageous steel hands, two snatches, two express lightnings. I think I changed that up with snatch, express, illuminate with three things. Um, but I could see that the power here, because it's sort of my game plan, my the style I play. Um, and if we go to the sideboard, this is just a typical uh, copy and paste. Not I won't say I, I don't say it in a disrespectful way. I just mean that in it. Soul Shield's always there. CNC's for me are always there. Sinclair's are always there. And then you have your flex. Uh, uh, what are they called? Um, Anti fatigue tech cards. Uh, Halo of Loom. Your anti Kano cards, and then he's gone with the combo package uh, to confront. I think ninjas, and, and I don't know. I'm not quite sure what he plays there. Uh, Balance of Justice. Uh, I've I've recently added this card in, and I do like it. I'm not sure if it's a win more card, or actually just a very good card. It is a good card. Um, I'm trying to figure out if it's win more or if it's a uh, uh, just changes changes the the bad matchups into okay matchups. So I think win more. I'm talking about brute, where traditionally we are winning that matchup, um, whereas ninja might be a bit more difficult. Um, does balance of justice? Uh, what's the word? Damn it! I was gonna make a cool joke about something balance. Uh... Anyways, shift the balance. Is that no? Does this help? Does it help that much in the art of war turns, or is it just? Um... I don't know. So that's uh, this deck. Interesting deck. Um, he's got this in his Discord group. In the Discord group, so you can check that out there. Um, it is a what I would call a traditional style of, of deck i don't think it's extreme in any way um which means he must have played well to to get that uh, uh victory no uh, second place um yes and then moving on to marco's deck Macarcia, who so far to me i haven't seen a, a higher win rate in 100 games uh across any bolton deck uh I haven't been been looking. It's been really comparing myself, and I think I've seen a few more of, of good players uh, who have gotten to like eight seventy eight percent, eighty percent. Marco has gotten up to uh, uh, it, it is eighty. He was at eighty five at hundred. I don't know if someone else has played these two games or if he's played these two games and lost. Um, but it was at eighty five uh, at hundred games, which is very good. Whether you say Tasha or not, uh, I, I challenge you to. To get that percentage uh, in a competitive, well, CNC uh, request undo uh, environment. I think what you're going to find on Talishar is um, you're going to find you're playing RTN ProQuest average with maybe some a sprinkling in of very good Pro Tour players. Whereas I guess what you want is the other way around you want to get your stats based on pro tour players with a sprinkling in because you can't avoid it uh, of uh, rtn uh, level um okay so he's put this publicly as well so i'm not giving off any secrets he's got all the matchups here which is fantastic i never do that uh, i should um the deck here is again a very traditional build this is very similar i spoke to him while he was doing this while i was on 56 games i think i was on 58 games at the time of the deck which was i think card for card the same apart from three i think he has i don't have yellow thingamabobas here i don't have yellow light the way so four cards um uh, but he was doing 10 percent better than me uh so there's something he's doing which i'm not doing in these matchups which i struggle against um think they are look at this dorinthia awesome results here um kasai awesome results here it's, this one's a, a six games so maybe it's a little bit small pool here this one's a massive 13 games uh victor which so those three are the ones i'm struggling with i think if i got his his numbers on these three matchups then i would be also in the high percentage high mid 80s high 80s but these games i'm like six wins four losses two wins four losses one win three losses something like that so i'm like really struggling with those matchups 
And then, as you would expect, the other ones, they seem to be pretty fine. He's done well here in Dekatsu, 4-1, uh, which is a bit odd, considering he doesn't have... Um, he doesn't have uh, he doesn't play combo in the sideboard. He's just a pure raid and build. Uh, he plays the null rune combo uh, package. Halo soul bond, I think, for Ko uh, Kano, which I personally think we don't need the null rune because I don't want to be in a battle with Kano where I'm paying one card to prevent two damage, which is a three card block to prevent two damage. I'm losing one value out of that card. Depends on the hand, obviously. So maybe having the option is something worth thinking about. Uh, but in my experience, it hasn't been hasn't been a problem unless you go in null rune, null rune, halo, tunic. That might be something, and that's why you you put on the pressure with tunic, um, and you have the defensive uh, capabilities with the two null rune and boots. Um, yeah. Sideboard, CNCs. Courageous Steel Hands. I, I think I always put these main board. I, I'm not sure who you take them out for. Maybe the more aggressive decks we want to block. That would make sense. I imagine like the way it comes in for the Dromai matchup. Anti-Fatigue. Uh, anti viserai Anti-Mirror. anti Azalea, And then some Poppers. And Big Gaming Bolton Breaks are good anyways. And some... I, I call these Valiant Thrust also Anti-Fatigue. They do so much damage. They do as much damage as Tenacity. They do cost one. Bolting Blade, also as much damage as Tenacity, if not more. Um, and it costs zero when you do it properly. So those, those are sort of the three decks out there now, which you guys should take note of and, and maybe you know speak to them about in Discord and, and figure out what's going on because uh, they all come from very good players. Uh, Odie, I don't know Odie, but he came second in the B&H. That means he's pretty good. Uh, Marco... I've been talking to Marco ever since we both won our, our respective national championships uh, last year and through Worlds and now. And I think if I'm talking to anyone about card choices, it'll be to Marco. Um, and I, 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 yeah, I just just talking to him makes me understand how that he's a good player and he's done very well in RTNs. And as I said, he's a, he's a national champion. And then Ellie, of course, has done well in her own regard. So these these three decks are worth looking into um <clears throat> if you're trying to figure out a competitive build for uh bolted now all in on vigors i can't say if this is competitive or not because i don't play the style i think if you talk to ellie she will say it is and she probably uh, has done well on it um, i can't speak for her though so if you want to learn more about this go into Wrath Times, have a read, uh, support their page, um, or just ask people in in uh, what's it called in uh, the Discord channel. I'm gonna play because it's the most different. I'm gonna play a couple games on uh, All In on Vigwas because uh, it is cool. It is fun. It is different, uh, and and it's different to what I'm always doing on this channel. Um, I guess what I can do quickly, guys, is give you an update on my decks, which I don't think is interesting, as interesting. Um, the real Bolton G's have so many. Uh, okay, so if I go to... This is the deck that, I'm, that I was saying was very similar to Ocasio's deck, Marco's deck. Oh, no, I have E-Strikes. Okay, so that was... I think that was the difference. E-Strikes, which I'm not sold on the good. And so then I have two Courage Eyes, um, and then one Warmongers, uh, no Null no, no Rune Boots, and I've done a bit more for the Ninja uh, and Poppers with Amnesias. So there are, there are actually more than four cards different, but you can see Take Flights, Valiant Thrust, Bannerets, Yellows, all that crap's all the same. And then you can see my results are a little bit worse. I'm on 78% over 81 games. Um, Dorinthia, 3-3, three, three, so it wasn't that, that bad. This one was pretty bad. 2-1, 5, oof, not looking good. Uh, I got some f lucky wins against Katsu here. Um, Brute has just become quite an easy matchup now. Uh, and then Victor is, is doing some work on me. So, 
maybe if I got a couple more wins here and here, I might be in a slightly higher win percentage. And a few losses dotted around elsewhere as well. Um, yeah. That's the, that's the main deck I'm trying out now. Um, I do go back to my chairs deck and some other decks every now and then. Um, but anyways, back to this deck. Let's see how it goes. Nobody knows how it's going to go. How's my audio levels? Is it okay? Noxie. Noxie. We'll go first. So we want uh, a lot of things. Do I mind going this big? That's fine. That's fine. Good luck, have fun. I don't know how this is into fatigue. I don't think I've played a fatigue deck yet. Let me see. Else have I played what's this guy called? Teclo. I don't have a Teclo game here. Uh but I do have a take flat. Mm. Yeah, okay. I don't mind taking a damage here. Our life is a resource in this game. Is probably, the, I mean, is a, our cars are more important than our life. I think I should have said. Hmm. Hmm. I want one of you for late game. Uh. Do I do here? Do this. Cancel. Yeah, it's kind of an awkward hand, and this is what you're gonna get with this deck. I mean, not not always this bad, but uh, so I could take flight, charging a courageous, play goblet, and then sword. I think that's the best thing to do. Set up for the following turn. Stay soul positive. Seen skis. Fine by me. Let's goblet here. And the sword. Oh, yeah, I'd rather save this for later. He'll get to a point when he's using all his uh, non attack actions and that type of thing. Boom. Okay, so far he's not hit any equipment. Armor. That is good. Okay, so we do the same. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, he's got one. Speak of the devil. The devil. Okay, so this is getting go again. We are saving soul. And we're attacking with you. We're saving soul. And then we're going to goblet. Goblitio. Okay, good, efficient block. He likes it. I don't like it. Yeah, I'm back into my attic with bad internet, so I don't know if that's me or if he's stinking about his shink. Shinke. Shinke, shinke. Okay. Let's get the take flight going in. Nice, look at the soul. Ooh, ain't touching that bad boy. So different to my chair's deck that was constantly at zero. Uh, evil opponents you can draw get plus one. Put this under, and then you may banish an evil from your hand if you draw a card. What's this? This is a two block. I don't even view it. Yep. 
two blocker. Turn for five. Oh, nice. Yeah, I forgot. Charge token. Okay, that's good. Seen that early. Uh, fine. Say you. Oh, man. I don't know if I just gave him a free block here. You ain't using it. This is battle worn anyway, so nice. Noise. Mm, this is okay. I can go you you and then sword. Keep you in arsenal with tunic counter. We're on nine, he's on nine, so it's about even Stevens here. And then we're going into the sword. You can take flight for next turn. Okay. I think this is fine. We can go uh let's see. Let's just do everything now so we don't have to break the chain. Three seven three noise. I'll keep you in the arsenal. Looking forward to a power card coming up. Is he gonna? Yep. Yeah. Gonna do it. He's done it. But we're leaking damage. Getting the Bolton buff going. Okay. Nice. Got the courage. Good for me. Um, okay. This kind of sucks. This card, so maybe I go you you you. I think we do that and put Bolton Blade in the Thingma Bob. He's got he's got the goods now. So we gotta Step on the, step on the whatever it's called, the gas. He's got all four. So now any of his, his Terminator things, are gonna hurt. Yes, he can do that. Fabricate. This is going to suck because I have to... Well, maybe I just don't use it. I just go Bolting Blade. Because otherwise he's going to get multiple blocks out of his arm wars. Yeah, and then he goes Sword, Bolting Blade. I don't want to... Give him more opportunities. Until I get Spirit of Runia out, I think that's the thing to do. I do have a lot of life, so... And that's always nice. I 
can see. That's fine. I think we block with one C and C, then we engulfing light plus sword. We'll keep take light for next turn. Um, I think that's what we should do. Engulfing light. Maybe I don't even need to use my snapdragons now. <clears throat> He's running out of blocks though on his armor. So that's nice. Hmm, I don't really want to use it now. I won't. Even though it doesn't pile on the pressure. Okay, here we go. Oof, he's going to throw a few cards here. Motherfucker. Okay. Boom. Let's get some cards going. Uh. I'd rather do it now because I don't want to eat my um eat my cards. Okay, and that's also a reason why I wanted to do it now. What's he doing? Okay. You can play it as an Instanto. Throw us a card. Yep, that's fine. I think it's okay. And then you put blocks of this. Illumina in. I don't know if that's better or worse for us just to lose a card. We didn't lose a card, so that's okay. Nice. I don't think he minds us milling our card ourselves. Especially if it's that one. Okay. Uh, sure. We'll use you. What's this? Take light. Okie dokie. So we get to play you for free. And get another resource. And then we'll go. Shringing big. I don't know why these are still chained down. They shouldn't be. Maybe you can still block with them. If you can't, that's too bad. I have a feeling I should be getting a a um, V the Vanguard soon. Nice. You ain't gonna do it. Do it. So then these are these don't block anymore after this one. He needs to get some nice big war tank things and or his singularity project. Have we used any beacons yet? I don't think we have. He's blocked three, yep. Okay, so one is this the, the blue crappy one. Um, do we Lumina in again? I think we do. I just don't want to. I'm just a little bit wary now of um, his uh, disruption, disruptive cards. It's going to be a V the Vanguard. Guarantee. Oh, 
Okay, I got 39. There we go. There's a V. I'll save for the next turn. Right, what does he do there? How did he exile that? Could he steal Soul Tower? Okie dokie, so I think we've got some options here. Yep, that's fine. So I'm going to go Bolt into Sword into Valiant, and that should put on enough pressure. This is going to block three. This is going to block the bolt. That's fine. But what's blocking the rest? Damn it. Fabricatsy. Oh, that basically block. That basically counts as three blocks. That's what these three are going to be. Uh, that's fine. Hmm. Then that's it, right? He has no more fabrications. He no fabricates. Terminator tank. Yeah, you got a block. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. What do you block with? Terminator tank. Discard a card. Okay, so that's not the worst thing. Not the best thing. I think arsenal destruction will be worse. How much does it cost? Terminator tank it costs six or costs three. So if he let's say he blocks one blocks here, then this will kill him. Unless he blocks with one, then he can still do it. Then we're in a very good position with Vita Vanguard. So I think we're okay. It was me. Yeah. Coin. You again. I mean, we have five souls. So any nice um, beacons will see us very far. Okay. So what's he got? Singularity, that's what he's got. Choose a card to discard. Okay. That sucks. Um I guess we discard he just blocks with himself, right? Hmm. You. Another AP. Okay, so this ain't good. A lot of cards. Mm. This is very not good. If I, if, you could, if I could somehow survive uh, the next couple of turns, then you won't be able to draw that many cards. Um, There we go, there's a beacon. Beacon. But this sucks. Let's 
this. This very very must have been an X X the number of evils you have equipped it. Okay. One. Okay. So far so good. One APs. Can see definitely not what I wanted to see, but I think I've just got to take it. So if I block block, you use this. I think I just take it. So no APs. This is right, son, coming in. It does hurt, but that's going away. But I think he's going to block a lot now. Hmm. Let's go seven. So what the hell is he going to block with? I'm just going to take it. I reckon he's got one D react. Let's go seven. I'm on eleven. He needs to block seven. That's two D react. You can do it. No, it's the left. Seven. Yep. Good game. Yeah, because even if he did uh to put two D Rex in front of it, then I go Battlefield Blitz, he's got a block, and then two swords. So, cool. Game one. Ching. I think we're lucky with his poor five Carter, but that's the way it goes. Main menu. Boom. This is a page. Let's try a new game. Hopefully, we get a tier deck. The doom ba doom ba doom. Darken. Darken. Okay, so this is a for me this is a tough matchup because I feel like without Soul Bond I feel a little bit naked. Um let's put you in. And now I don't know I don't know what to do here in terms of these two blockers. If I start taking them out, the whole game plan sort of falls apart. Uh, I think I've got to keep those ones in, and I'll play this. So I'll just take out two of you, so I'll keep a clean 60. I think that's better. I like having CNC in this matchup. I do have Tunic, so let's see how it goes. This is a, this will be a cooler test of the of the, the deck. Um, hmm, her, 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 her. I think I want to keep you, right? So... I don't like the way even because he's not incentivized to block. Donk. But on donk donk. And then I put sink below it in the arsenal. Clash of So bitch. Yep. Peep. Okay. Light the way into Beacon of Vic. Draw a card. Sure. Yes. My son's coming in again. It's going real hot onto my eyeball.
shrink. Let's get rid of you. Goblet. Goblet, 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 goblet. Maybe I'll just keep his hand. That's all he's going to do. I keep his hand. Gobbly, 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 gobbly. I think he, he should know I have a beacon of victory in hand. You go for the odds here, and you fail, my friend. Choink. So maybe without Soulborn, I should have taken uh, uh, the spirit out. So this is very good. That scowling is gone. Because it means I'm open up now. There's no disruption in terms of my whatever the cold view the vanguard turns. Maybe he has a send packing or something. Because that's also a nice combo when you know that they're going to have an arsenal because you're scowling. Ugh, this is the problem. Way too many non light cards. See, draw a card probably. Fine. Go for it. Draw again. Oh, maybe he's going to ditch something. Okay. Matty Vollop. Oh, so he missed one. He, what? Oh, because he had the mites already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Excuse you. Let's do it. Now, yeah, so break. No combat chains. And then we go raid in and then CNC. I imagine he'll let this blow up because it's not worth the block. Blocking it, or maybe because, yeah, Arsenal, no need for it. There's only seven, got it, plus seven. Damagio's coming up. Eight Damagio's coming up. And then, if it's not this turn, it's next turn that he's got Blood Rush. Open. There's, there's the Blood Rush. 14, go again. I don't think, what can you do after that, right? So I think we use a shunt now. Um, you know what? What if I go bang? I can block with you. Bang, bang. I can do 11. Do I need to block with armor now? I don't, do I? I can go engulfing blitz sword for 11. It is worse. Uh, it is an actual 14, so he's getting 14 off one. His turn's going to be 14, my turn's going to be 14 with the block. I'm one point ahead of him in life. I am armor ahead of him, so maybe this is okay. I am much lower in life now, though. That's the problem.
Okay, nice to see one of those bad boys disappear. At least I get to stay um, so neutrally. Cool, getting the value. But I think he just does two card at nine now, right? Yep. Two card niner. Um, we can just block nine and gobble it. Wait a turn. He's got to have something good eventually. Snap happy shift. See? Well, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be blocking anyways. But that's the problem. The slap happy, big problem. Not really, actually. Because we go you, 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 you. Uh, take first six. I think we're in a bad spot. He's got to have a go again now, right? Thank the load. Thanks the load. We can block six here and then V the Vanguard sword bolting. Smash. Eight. Get to you. Block. Block. Okay, so two blood rushes are out. Um, I'm just gonna do that now. Bomb, bomb. We're coming in four, four plus eight, sixteen. Come down to four. If we can survive, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So, yeah, what do we do here? That is what I thought. Was coming my way. Um, Eight. So we'll block three. Do we block one more just to be in case it's another one? I think we do. Of power. Block three, take four down to two. Uh, I think I have to do it though. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I can't not attack now. If he's got it, he's got it. He's probably got it. The message, good game. Very frustrating. Um, if we had the one extra life from the Luminas, uh, we wouldn't be in that situation. Uh, this to me is is the weaker matchup with uh, this this uh, vigor deck, uh, the, the way I see it, anyways. Um, we'll try one more because I'm just frustrated about that game. Uh, okay, cool. So now we get to go on the other side. Um, into this matchup. I think we go. Um, I want you. I don't think I want you guys. I don't know. This like the KO, uh, KO matchup. I feel very confident in playing my other deck. This matchup, I just have no idea what I should be putting in.
you know, if we don't mind a long game, I'll put you guys in. Um, which is what I'm told. We don't mind a long game. Uh, this is not good. Get you at the bottom. Uh, I guess I'll keep you. Okay, I, I really don't mind that because it doesn't matter, right? It just don't matter. Okay. And now what do I do with you? That's the question. Would I have much rather that been a soul shield in this instance? Yes. Guaranteed it's a CNC pummel for this turn. Don't ask me how I know. It's experience. Ooh, battery's running out. Let me get there. Thing my bulb. Nice. Delicage, and then get the sword attack by staying soul neutral. That is living the dream, boys and girls. Oh, you bugger. I'm gonna do it. And I get to use your armor, even better. Spinal. Um Okay. Okay, so my notes are weather the storm of disruption. And then play the cards we want to play. So that means block, block, golfing. I want to build up my soul. Because one disruption. Numero uno. Well, this was disruption as well, choke stab. Zero vanilla hits, let's say, because if I didn't block, oh no, he blocked, that was his block. Okay, this is good. I don't know why this is happening, but I'll take it. Nice. Um, here, I can't do anything. It sort of sucks. Um, I can build soul. It's nasty. I think I'll just build soul. Fire Lumina. Come for 10. 
maybe 12. So 11. Not that it mattered. Knock it out. And then the sword will come in and hopefully give me courage. That seems like his. Okay, that's also fine. Standing order. Uh, yeah, it's okay, right? That's okay. Number four, seven, and then goblet. Gobletio. Okay, what's he got then? Whenever they block with armor, it means they want to keep their hand. Especially with something like this, which is so bad. It's just vanilla. Like, just take the damage, is what I would say. And this normally means a pummel. Or that. Mm, that's fine, right? Let me take 10. We'll take 10. You know what? We can see and see beacon. That's that's good. CNC beacon. CNC beacon. CNC beacon. That's good. Where did I get the card from? Oh, yeah, because I got the sword. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yep. Yeah. We need... Um, Okay, let's see what he does here. No one messing around here, wise guy. So we're gonna block, block, block. If he does gauntlets, we're in trouble. Oh, not too bad. Let's do plus two. And then we get. Hmm, what do we get? Maybe a Luminis? I'm too far away from a Vanguard, so I'll take a Lumina. Boom. Oof, another 10. Um, I'm going to block with some armor. Block with you. Take three. Let's see, does this work? It does not. That sucks. That sucks because we know what we're drawing now. And it's not. It's not what we want. And do we just attack with a the sword then? Uh, with this. Six. Um, I'll do Warband, come in for f five, but we, yeah, we're going to lose, that's annoying. Um, it's okay. Uh, Lumina, kind of annoying in there. Six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, let's do this. Was it two? Oh, yeah, it was just two by itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, it's not a good position. Not a good position. <laughs> that was a bad play. Is it over? It ain't over. But it's just not. 
not where we want to be. Especially knowing what this was. Maybe I should just attack six. But I think the soul is good. Did I need to play the Bologna? If it worked, it would have been heroic. So let me just let me just do that. He's only hit one of his block cards as well. So we're gonna see those soon. It's not gonna be nice. Or just go again in Lumina and put you in Arsenal. I think I'll do that. I will not claim victory. I do not deserve it. Instead, I shall ask, are you there? It is not the best use. But at least, hopefully, it resets his hand. What we got? Okay, cool. So we slap happy. This hand is kind of not good. Let's see, let's see. Uh -huh. I'm going to use you. Getting late in the game. Slap happy. Not what I wanted to see. Um, yes. Trounce. There it is. There's the dreaded trounce. Still doing okay. Slim down to 19, then tackle my sword. What do you pick up? Uh, Thunderquake? I don't know what he picked up. What we got? Okay. Ending turn. Okay, so that is. I think that's a Thunderquake, right? We go again this, we Battlefield Blitz, and then we Engulfing Light. Because it's either Engulfing Light or Sword. I could Sword with the Iron Song versus attached to it, but I don't think I need it. He's got one armor block somewhere in his civics. This is going to be tenor coming in. Um, okay, nice. So now this is going to be this is a six cost card. It's two blues. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Somehow with these misplays, we've put ourselves in an okay position. Oh god. Oh god, so this is gonna be a twelver. Uh, elevener. Elevener with double um this card. So I think I need to block here. And do I just come back with Battlefield Blitz for five and put him in block mode because uh, this is going to put me down to eight so I'm going to do that for sure make a block with you ditch you too I know all my luminous gone I used one two that'll be all my luminous uh, I'm not too fussed about 
Illuminas. Um, oh, I take it. Ditch two, no, 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 no. And then we pray to force out his hand a bit. No, no. Take that back. I mean, you only draw one card out of this. You keep one of them, draw. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. How many, has, how many has he used? He used one trounce, one test of strength. This is a bit number two. So we've done four of the six. Well, one, three of the. Four, no problem. No problema. Sex Chaos. I think this guy is a Twitch streamer. Hopefully, he's not. Streaming now. Oh, it doesn't matter. Put him down to five, and then he's probably going to come with a big hitter. Civics. He got Civics and Arum Hagus. That's good for us. Okay, so he's going to get rid of Celestial. Yes. We still do it. This is unheard of, but I'll be very happy with it. Buff power, we have seven. Okay, so what do we do? We go light the way into Raiden. And that sort of gives us a good position, right? Um, down to one. This is down to one. Okay, so going from nine. Um, now he doesn't have to block everything. So it footsteps. Maybe I did this wrong because if he has a dominate, if he has golden sun, we're dead, right? So maybe I did this wrong. Doesn't look like he has golden sun. Now this hand sucks. Buff, buff is a power. That's uh, fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like a lead with heart. Oh no. Oh no, this is not looking good. I will block, block, block. He dominates and I'm dead. Um, I will get Lee with heart into Raiden. That's all I can do. Close game, close game. I, I think there were plays I could have done better to, to take this into a win, but 
This is the way the cookie is crumbled. Golden Sun. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's it, right? Um, I think it is. Let's see. Yeah. I don't think there's any way. One, two. Okay. Good game. Oh, very frustrating. Two frustrating ends to this uh, video. Um. Oh man, where did it go wrong? What are we looking at? Yeah, I don't think. Mm, like what I think, what I think. Okay, we know that a few turns were played uh, suboptimally. Uh, a few blocks, maybe as well. Uh, it would be good to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Uh, because I felt like we were even lucky with the with the clashes. We we saw we, we saw one in turn zero, which is fine because it doesn't affect the hand size. We saw one a little bit later, trounce, which they won, totally fine. It didn't really do too much. And then they lost these two. Uh or we drew these two. So I don't know what how we lost that game. Uh, a couple awkward hands, um, and that's what I've noticed with the Vigor deck is they're not always awkward, and there are good hands, but I feel like I'm getting more awkward hands. Maybe I'm I'm just hanging on to the memory more. Um, I I'm, or I'm just not doing the deck justice because uh, a lot of a lot of the good bottom players are saying Victor is favored. We should be winning Victor. We should be winning Victor, and I don't feel that way at all. Um, I don't consider myself a top bottom player because I was on the good end, the good end of the spectrum. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how did I, how did I not get this? Anyways, this is, you can watch the video again and see what went wrong, what went right, uh, what to do better, uh, and take it from there. Both for the KO game and this game. Uh, KO was a bit more what I expected. This game, I thought I could win, even though I, I. I I messed up in the middle. I thought I could still win that game. Regardless, that's how it normally ends. I normally normally get dominated out with a golden sun or uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the Bravo looking circus dude. Uh, eight dominate. Is it here? No. Oh yes, Macho Grande. Um, that one. It's either that one or that one that, that gets me. Uh, yeah. Anyways, no more dwelling. Uh, we'll look back on it. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. Um, I think, and, and let me know also if you like the format where I'm gonna try and do Bolton news at the beginning of the video and then some gameplay. Uh, until next time. <whistles> Oof.